the Keystone Sports Network. This is Jim Galante and Dustin Hawkinsmith from the Keystone Sports Network. Dustin, a win's a win, but that sloppy win over Northwestern has Nittany Lion fans wondering if this 5-0 team is really ready to take on top-rated teams like Michigan and Ohio State, which are sandwiched around the whiteout game with Minnesota after this week, which is their bye week. With Sean Clifford not at his best the last couple weeks, is this team ready for that gauntlet? So the good news, I think, on that front is that five turnovers on offense, four fumbles from the running backs, uh, is very, very uncharacteristic of a James Franklin coach team. There's a bye week to clean up ball security. The weather clearly was an issue. So, yeah, I think back-to-back weeks of being underwhelming against uh, teams that you were heavily favored to beat is uh, is kind of cause for concern. But to me, I mean, if you look at it, uh, they played, they managed the game conservatively. They managed the game to not blow Northwestern out in the first place, and then they turned the ball over five times. So I think you can kind of not disregard that, but when you look at it, they Penn State's got a defense with, that is full of playmakers who are going to eventually play on Sundays. I think that formula can be a very good one against your Michigans and Ohio States. When you look at the offense, the running game, when they weren't fumbling the ball, Katron Allen and Nick Singleton looked pretty good and sharp against Northwestern. They've got NFL caliber skill talent at tight end, wide receiver, and running back, and a defense that can win games for you. The general outline is there. They've just got to execute and play a lot better, and they ho- I hope that they can do that with a bye week to address some of those concerns. Thanks, Dustin. And you can get more great Penn State talk and analysis by listening to the Keystone Kickoff Show. Search for Keystone Sports wherever you get your podcasts.